Ah, the first person voted out. A distinction that nobody wants, but debatably, all of you earned. I mean, from moment one, Nickel and Balloon wouldn't stop bickering. Okay, that was pretty one-sided. Like, come on. Life Ring, your inability to sink sunk the challenge for your entire team. I admit my diving form could have been stronger. Oh, please, he's not talking about that. But at least he even attempted. Blueberry... Looking at you, pal. Notice how nobody has gone after Box? This is my life. What's the use? You're so right. Anyway, you've all cast your votes, and the contestant with the most votes will be knocked out of the competition. I'll read the votes. First vote. Life ring. Blueberry. Nickel. One vote life ring, one vote blueberry, one vote nickel. Life ring. Two votes life ring. Blueberry. Two votes life ring. Two votes blueberry. One vote nickel. One vote left. First contestant knocked out. Blueberry. It's time for your ride home. Thank you. Oh, the real lifesaver's right here. Blueberry, you've been knocked out. Glad I got that thing fixed. Anything to add before your departure? What's the use? Nothing I say matters. Nothing matters. Couldn't have said it better myself. And with Blueberry gone, can the blue team recover after losing its bluest member? Find out next time on Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Good. Leave me here. Just leave me be. Welcome to Indefinite Island. Congratulations! You've been eliminated. Get ready to stay here for a while. If you want another chance. No guarantees have been made as of this recording. Restrictions may apply. This place seems nice. So, Pinkers, are you happy with the name Bo chose? Yeah, I've embraced it. Like a snail in the sun. I don't mind it either. And neither does my widow for when. No, you don't. Well, your pathetic choices don't matter right now because the viewers have their power back and their word beats yours. Well, this would have been nice to know. Tonight's immunity goes to... Bo! <laughs> OMG, I win! I don't know how or why the viewers decided you're safe tonight. But they did, so they all get... Uh... Hmm. Right, so now it's time to read the votes. First vote, fan. Fan. Two votes, fan. Cabby. Cabby. That's two votes, fan. Two votes, cabby. Fan. That's three votes, Fan. Two votes, Cabby. One vote left. Second person voted out, Fan. Aw, oh, shucks. Well, things got a little heated near the end there, but this was fun. No hard feelings, Cabby. You do freak me out a little, but, like, in an impressive way. I'll note you took your elimination in stride. So, Fan, it's time to send you home. Wait, I get to be punched by the fist thingy? Oh, this is an honor. Send me back to the hotel. Not exactly, but I'm sure you'll find your way there eventually. Wait, actually, just one quick thing. I promise I will, when the time is right. All right, hit me. Well, we lost Fan, and apparently all the other fans aren't even fans. But you are, and that's exactly what makes you all my favorites. Stay tuned. No, my personal space. Nice to see you as well. And whoa, what is this place? I am not a fan of Spooky Island. What is this, like mixed media? Oh, give me a break. Ooh, another visitor. <clears throat> Welcome to Indefinite Island. Get ready to stay here for a while. If... Yeah, yeah let, me, let me stop you right there. I'm not staying. I don't need a second creepy location spent in isolation with a mysterious disembodied speaker voice. This is bringing up some memories. Yay, more room for me. Well, I 
guess you don't have to stay if you uh don't want another chance uh you can leave on the rowboat then that does sound like a cool story though <gasps> it was all right before i go it all started when i had this nightmare right it was really abstract and black and uh, white and cinematic sure. and then I well sinkers here we are again worst two out of three what do you think you're flopping i don't believe anyone's at fault here uh, yeah because you have no one to blame but yourself <laughs> You abandoned us for day of cartoon slapstick. Oh, there's a classic charm to that, though. Be that as it may, charm won't save one of you from these votes. But what will save you is the immunity vote, which goes to... Balloon. Any vote against him won't count. Yes! Woo! Woo! Ah! Thanks, Nickel. Anyway, on to the elimination votes. The best kind. First vote, Nickel. Life ring. One vote nickel, one vote life ring. Nickel. Two votes nickel, one vote life ring. Balloon. Does not count. That's two votes nickel, one vote life ring, one vote left. Life ring. Nickel and life ring are tied. Hold on a second. What was that one vote for me? There was one vote for me last time too. Fox. You would never vote for us, right? I'm not supposed to say, but what the heck? It does come down to a tiebreaker vote from Box. What? Why are you voting for us, Box? I thought we were cool, man. Well, you're both always talking for him, and it might get annoying after a while. Box is really mad you just said that. Right, Box? You're gonna vote Life Ring out now, right? I didn't want to have to play this card, Box, but I saved your life once. How dare you use that as a bargaining chip? You're supposed to save others because it's the right thing to do, not for something in return. Box, don't vote for me. I'll never claim to have any morals. I'll generate banana peels just to try to make someone trip. Wait, you used my picnics tables to try to hurt someone? Yeah, so? Nickel, you compromised the sanctity of the cool thing I made. You are henceforth permanently banned from the picnics tables. <laughs> oh, boo hoo. Oh. You do realize you just lost instantly generating unlimited food. Uh, oh, wait, actually, I'm sorry. Okay, Box, you have a lot to think about. Go in the back behind that curtain. No pressure. And finally, the person eliminated is... Life Ring. Ah, uh, well, I leave you all with one final lesson in proper flying formation. Oh! Well, I know we took a lot of pictures today, but if you all wouldn't mind humoring me, I'd like to get just one more. Oh, what kind of picture? Oh, you know, a silly one. Uh... Wow, <laughs> I just keep making new friends. Who am I, Miss Popular? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Life Ring, sorry. Walkie talkie here says you gotta go. Actually, he can stay if he chooses to have another- Shh, don't blow this for me. Just what I needed to feel right at home. I'll stay. Hooray! Phew, that was a close one, Blueberry. <laughs> Way to blow it. Nice to see you is what I would say if I wasn't temporarily blinded by your incompetence forcing me into an extra long spa day. I can't think of a worse fate. Anyway, time for one of you to get punched into the sky. But first, the immunity vote. The viewers voted too, and we'll save one of you. Tonight's immunity goes to... Yin Yang. What? Hmm. Any votes cast for Yin Yang won't count. I'll read the votes. First vote. Yin Yang does not count. Yin Yang does not count. Yin Yang also does not count. OJ, that's one vote for OJ. Paintbrush, that's one vote OJ, one vote paintbrush, one vote left. And the fourth eliminated contestant, OJ, leaving inanimate insanity for the first time ever. Huh. Wow. So that's how it feels. <sighs> All right. Thank you guys so much for... Ooh, it, I 
actually worked! Gabby's file on prior votes gave me everything I could ever need on voter habits to be secure, and Yin Yang getting the vote once again. Okay, enough, Silver! And then, since Kendall insisted we vote for OJ due to his disconnected form of leadership, and I knew you would all be too scared to do that, I pushed you all to vote for Yin Yang, because who wouldn't? The former king of anatomy and insanity, Dethrone! Silver Spoon! <sighs> That's enough, okay? I expected a bit more applause, team. It was for all of you, Candle. I listened to the lava. Just because it was his time to go, it does not mean it was your time to speak. <sighs> well, it looks like the team really needs a new leader now. That was pretty rough. I guess, but we've always pulled it together. Good luck back at the hotel. I know they need you there. Sorry about the drama today. You two okay? I'm pretty alright. And how about you? Sorry Silver dragged you into that. Hmm. I'll survive. Congratulations on your promotion. Yeah. You know what? Maybe the thinkers are better off without a leader. We're smarter together. We destroyed the government. We sure did. A wise decision. How about we ease the day out with a group cheer? Sounds great. Ah, uh, I guess. Do it, Ian. Yay! Everyone in. Even after I... Thank you. I'm... A uh, little help, please? Hey, I haven't left just yet. Think big! Thinkers forever! Ah, there we go. Ready to leave behind that mess, OJ? Yeah, I think they'll be alright. Well, duh. Of course they will be. It's a game. And if today proves anything, it's that no one's in charge. It's anyone's game. Can the thinkers get back to their winning streak? Find out next time on Inanimate Insanity Invitational. I, I mean, yes. Box is a strong collaborator. Can't say the same about everyone, especially people who withhold information. We need to work together as a unit or we'll rue it. Agreed, and that includes listening to others for insight. You guys, all of your ideas are valuable, but your egos aren't. No offense. So I'm gonna need those smiles to flip. Mm, do you guys want to flip those frills? Get your paws off me. I'll be frank. I'm concerned about this little what have you. Your vocabulary and little snacks aren't gonna manipulate my number one ally. Hmm, number one, you say? Eh, I mean one of them, yeah. Look, my buddy's coming with me! No way, Jose! Number one, huh? Oh, I'm glad the transparency is across the board. Help me! Okay. I don't want to argue anymore. Please, it's not worth it. Well, maybe it is, especially when some people have had a bad history of protecting eggs. <laughs> I can't take that. Well, the only one who will need protecting is you at the bottom of my yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Everybody stop the challenge! Medical! Medical! Oh, now he's watching. Huh? Stay down, uh, egg. You don't want to see this. Yes, I'm an egg. He's not breathing. Does anyone know CPR? Ha! Huh. Suddenly I feel extremely needed. Yeah, right. We need the on-site doctor. Stat! Wait, we've had an on-site doctor this entire time? Oh, absolutely. Everyone, please remain calm. I'm going to go ahead and check his vitals. I am not worthy! Oh, Dr. Fizz, your bubbliness! Sir, I'm going to need- Oh, Dr. Fizz, bless your soul! I'm going to need you all to step back immediately, so I can determine a diagnosis. So, what's the update, Doc? How's he looking? Unfortunately, the trauma Box has experienced during the fall is preventing him from getting proper oxygen, and we're going to need to undergo more extensive treatment off of the island. So, to be clear, you are pulling Box from the game. I think the risk is too great to keep him here in this state. That is correct. 
We are so, so sorry, Box, for our mishandling of the situation. Box spared his own life to save Clover. The hammer was headed straight towards her head. He's truly a hero. And it's all my fault. And Gabby's. Clover? I knew it! What's lucky for her is painful for- oh! ah! Doctor! You're fine. Maybe Cabby was right. I do have a gift. But if so, I never considered the effect it could have on others. That hammer was meant for me. <gasps> Maybe it's a curse. With everything going on, I just wanted to apologize. <coughs> uh, sorry, I'm trying to- Nickel, I really appreciate the gesture, but you don't need to do this. Yeah, no. I want to hear him say it. I'm sorry. What? What's that, hon? I'm sorry! <coughs> Ugh, my mouth feels numb. There, there. I shouldn't have been so territorial over Box or, or made you guys feel undervalued, even if it was kind of enjoyable, to be honest. It did the one thing I was trying to avoid. Eh, I could have been more respectful myself. Ah! <coughs> oh my gosh, he ate my food! Box ate my food! Do you guys see that? <laughs> he ate it all! <laughs> Yeah, the relationship with Box was all strategy. But finally, someone appreciates my efforts. And for that, I will always appreciate him. Oh my goodness, these deviled eggs. Mmm, nobody will hold me back anymore. <laughs> oh, geez, and I thought I was the fat slob. Anyway, after an intense medical evacuation of the biggest threat in the game, how will the game shake up next? Find out next time on an animate insanity invitational. Sinkers, sinkers, sinkers. What can I even say? Except stinkers, stinkers, stinkers. How dare you! Box vouched for the name that you're soiling right now. Don't worry yourself, Meatphone. You wouldn't be the first to soil it. I feel like you're trying to say something about someone here. Come on, say it! It's Nickel. He's the problem. Ooh, hurts, tea kettle Hurts bad. Something the matter, Balloon? Just, just a tough vote. Well then, let's make like you and pop right into it. Like the joke? I'm making jokes now. And here comes the punchline. Balloon. No shocker there. Any votes cast for Balloon won't count. Let's begin. First vote, Nickel. That's one vote, Nickel. Tea kettle One vote, Nickel. One vote, tea kettle One vote left. And the sixth contestant eliminated is... Tea Kettle. Oi, Gavalt, really? I'd respect this more if it was a smart move. But Balloon, why? I'm sorry, TK. I, I couldn't do it. You were right about a lot of things, but I don't want to play the game that way. With the backstabbing and the betrayal and... Hey, hey, Balloon. It's okay. I didn't mean to stress you out. Come here. Uh, one more act of vengeance, huh? I did what I could to stay, but clearly I was no match for the big, tough allies. Aww. Or even close acquaintances? Aww. Okay, fine, say friends, I don't care. Behave, okay? <sighs> this mama's going out in style. And remember your food groups. <laughs> Sink, sank, sunk. Another sinker elimination. How much lower can one team possibly sink? And how many times can I possibly say sink? Find out next time on... Inanimate Insanity Invitational. What do you mean we're out of indefinite coconuts? They're supposed to be indefinite! We're all going to starve! Ah! Uh. Nice catch! Tea Kettle, please, do, do you have them? Do you mean my hors d'oeuvres? Hooray! Hooray! Yay. Finally, some appreciation! I could get used to this. Ooh, family reunion! Before we get into this exciting elimination, is there anything anyone would like to say? <sighs> I'm sorry I messed things up, you guys. I... Yeah, yeah, Balloon, you got immunity again. <laughs> Hooray, your mistakes don't matter. But how will everyone else's? Let's find out. First vote, Cabby. Silver Spoon, one vote Cabby, one vote Silver. Cabby, two votes Cabby.
Cabby. That's three votes Cabby, one vote Silver. And the seventh contestant voted out is... If I didn't solve the problem, then who would? You did this. Look, b before you- We could have gone so far. Why? Why? We know what you've been writing, Cabby, about all of our flaws, just so you could take us down. I do not obsess over my hair. <gasps> and you, like, said I was dead. But you got the pink part right, so... Eh. And I'm not pink! I'm seven! You say I never lift a finger? Well, I have quite the finger for you, dear. You've got it all wrong, Test Tube. I, I liked you. I, I can't believe you did this. Because you expect everyone to act exactly how you write them to be. You never know what someone will do under pressure. Sure, right now I'm a convenient ally, but tomorrow I might not be so convenient, and I'll be next, right? That's what you did to Fan. That's what you do to them. To me. That was not my intention. It's to keep history, your history, alive. Well, now, your history. Not yet. I need more answers. YOUR ANSWERS! How are you alive? Why are you here? What are you? Hate to break this magical moment, but oopsies, look at the time. Bye-bye, Cabby. Wow, that was an intense elimination for an even more intense player. Surely nothing could ever top this. Or could it? Find out next time on Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Well, while it's unfortunate the exact same group suffered a second deadly incident today, at least that horrible fire gave me a chance to revive you each one at a time. Anyway, while you didn't win the challenge, Jin Yang, you did win immunity. So who is eliminated? Let's find out. First vote. Um... I think I know what's going on here. It's okay. I allow it to happen. Clover. 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 That's three votes, Clover. The eighth contestant eliminated is Clover. Sorry, Clover. We all can see the game was torturing you. You tried so hard to fix yourself, but look, now I get it. The problem isn't you, Clover. It's just your luck. Well, the problem with my luck is that no one else could have it. But today, a friend in my place made me realize the luck doesn't have to be all mine. So, Nickel, from this day on, and for the rest of your life, I wish you luck. No, you're, you're bluffing. Since when could you do this? I was so guilty about hurting others. I never thought about helping them. So now, I wish you all luck. No, you, you cast a spell on me, but I won't let you do it to them, you witch. Aww. Still thinking it's a curse? One day you too will learn to share the wealth, Nickel. All right. Cordelia? Catalina? Cassandra? Jake? Let's fly! Until next time! <laughs> what a day! I can't believe we were all on TV! I hope it can happen again! Hmm, no need. We only had to air once for the awards eligibility. Oh, yeah! I forgot, broadcast television is dead. Oof. Wonder if anyone even watched. Thinkers, I gotta say, huge props on today's performance. I've truly never seen such a large budget wasted that immediately. I almost feel bad. Almost. Well, I actually do feel bad. So, I wanted you to have this, Yen. Riggity! I can't believe it! This is so kind that... Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh yes, this time I only burnt my half of Riggity. Ah, I see you're also committing to 50% self-control. Nice move. What an inspirational display of empathy, Yin Yang. And it has earned you yet another immunity win. So, it's now time to read the votes. First vote. Goo. Candle. One vote Goo, one vote Candle. Candle. Two votes Candle, one vote Goo. Goo. We're tied. Two votes candle, two votes goo, one vote left. 
ninth contestant eliminated from Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Who? I'm sorry, mate. After weighing the pros and cons? Yeah, you robbed us of two mil each. Really breaking the bag, yeah? Ah, right. That's understandable. Well, have a great day! Well, I suppose endless franchising and sequels aren't always the way to succeed. Eh, I don't know. Third time's the charm. See you, Goo. Hoping that you stick that landing. <laughs> oh boy. Clean up on aisle Goo. Thank goodness I saw you before I left. What did you think of the film? It was in honor of you. Yeah, I liked it, but it was a lot. Listen, Goo, I don't need this new identity to be such a big grand spectacle. I just want you to treat me like... Like me. With all of the uncertainty lately, it helps everything feel just a bit more... normal, you know? Oh, I'm for sure. I get it. It's like you just wanted a slice of cake, and I went and gave you the whole bakery. <laughs> yep, nailed it. Well, then it looks like we got in one final win for the... Cheer, cheer Factory! factory! Yes! Well, we all wanted to cheer you on as you were pelted into the sky, but we'll fling you there another way. Tune in next time for another amazing episode of Inanimate Insanity Invitational. It's almost time! Oh no. Okay, now it's time.